Hello, and welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this episode, we're looking at the recent PHP Storm 2020.2 EAP build, which brings support for PHP 8 union types. A union type accepts values of several different types instead of just one type. Previously, you could only specify them for a class property, function argument, or return type using PHP doc. But since union types were not supported on the language level, that was pretty much it. To take a look at the support PHP Storm now has for union types, let's go to Preferences, Language and Frameworks, PHP, and set PHP language level to 8. Notice that as soon as we do this, PHP Storm highlights much of our code. We can use the Alt Enter Quick Fix to convert annotations into the actual union type declarations. Now, all the necessary information is already contained in our code, so the PHP doc comments look redundant. Let's use Alt Enter again to get rid of them. With natively declared union types, PHP Storm will also analyze calls and highlight problematic areas so you can take the required action. Some functions, including many PHP standard ones, may return either a certain type or the false value in the event of an error. In such cases, the return type can be set to int or bool. But since the functions will never return true, the new pseudotype false can also be added. Note that this is only allowed as part of a union. Otherwise, PHP Storm will signal an error. Some union types can end up being redundant, for example, when they contain bool or false, some trivial repetitions, or cases like this one where we have foo or object. All such cases will be highlighted, and PHP Storm will provide you with a quick fix for simplifying the declaration. The void type in PHP can only be used as a return type and cannot be combined with any other type. PHP Storm will always highlight such occurrences. Similarly, standalone false, standalone null, and their combinations are not allowed to be used as union types, and they will be highlighted too. When you work with nullable types, you can provide the type declaration like this, or use the shorthand declaration. If more than one type is combined with null, the meaning becomes ambiguous, so this usage is prohibited. PHP Storm highlights such cases, and you can use the provided quick fix to deal with them. When dealing with inheritance, you need to follow a couple of basic rules, and PHP Storm will assist you along the way. The type of an inherited property should be the same as the parent type. If it isn't, you'll get an error, and you'll be able to use a quick fix to synchronize the types. Parameter types can be extended, but they can't be narrowed. This means that the child must be a supertype. In our case, the type declaration must also include A to be compatible with the parent, so we can use the quick fix to append it. Return types, on the other hand, can only be narrowed and can't be extended, so the child must be a subtype, and again we can use Alt-Enter on the detected error to clean up our code. This sums up the union type support coming soon to PHP Storm. Of course, all existing features such as refactorings or code generation are now aware of union types too. This is the last video in our 2020.2 EAP series. Our next video will be about the full release. So we'll see you then, and thanks for watching.